Hey, sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I thank you for tapping in with your girl, Sweets, okay? To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Sweet Love Soul Tribe, baby. To my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do, boo. I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I thank you for staying down with your girl, Sweets. And if you're new to the channel, you're just stopping by, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and click that like button as well as that post notification bell so that you are notified each and every time I go live and each and every time I upload a new video. As well as that subscribe button, baby, because we're on the road to 1K, okay? So hop in the driver's seat with sweets and help us get to you. Holy Spirit. I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, sweet loves. I hope you guys are having a blessed and safe day today. Okay? I really, 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 really do. You know? Make sure you guys are staying prayed up. The energy is very heavy at this time it's a lot of things going on there's a lot of shifts taking place um in many people's lives and you know we have to just begin to embrace those changes and know and understand that the things that take place in our life are merely a part of god's divine plan although we don't see it we don't know what's on the other side you know a lot of us are um restricted and, and restrained in so many ways by fear you know but when you know who you are you know you really get that knowledge of oneself and who you are and you build that relationship with the holy spirit like somehow you just know you always going to be okay. Somehow you just know that it's for a greater purpose, that it's a greater plan. Somehow you just know that your dark nights and gloomy days, you know that a brighter day is to follow or brighter days are ahead. You know, we never know what's on the other side, but sometimes you just got to know that it is something better on the other side. And that's just that, you know, you tapping in, God is giving us the, these messages and, you know, he says, you know, let God show you just how magical he is. Allow him to show you. Allow him to show you. If you truly know and believe in the Holy Spirit, you know that, you know, regardless of what situation you may be facing at this time, like, it got to get better. It may not get better right in that moment, but at some point, because you know the good father and you know how he works, you just know that everything going to be all right. So, yeah, that message for somebody, I hope it fills you with, you know, the strength that you may need at this time. But you just got to believe. Believe. Pray, have faith, and believe. Crazy faith. Crazy faith. Okay? Crazy faith. That's what you need. People going to think you crazy for believing what you believe in it because they looking at the situation in front of you. They looking at things with a naked eye, You with a naked eye. You get what I'm saying? They ain't looking at things from a divine perspective. They ain't looking at things um, with a higher purpose, you know? When you going through something dark and gloomy, somehow you just know that Whatever you're going through in that moment, it's a higher purpose for that. It's a reason behind whatever that situation may be. Whatever that situation may be. Okay. Confirmation. Thank you, spirit. So we have into you. Good chemistry, great vibes. Sudden change, shocking news, epiphany. Okay. So someone may have had a realization that they're into you or that they really have love for you let's see what else comes out but we got sudden change so this came out of nowhere something just shifted and now all of a something someone's had an epiphany 
But this epiphany only came after an ending. After it say coffin ending. This epiphany came possibly after you ended things with someone. We got messenger concern. Messenger concern with the light. And we also got shocking news here. So someone could come tell you this. Let's see. Yep. Meeting. You could have a meeting with someone. You can meet up with someone and have a conversation. Okay. Because someone someone wants to talk. We got getting proof. So someone has proof of something. I don't know if someone is getting proof to see whether or not it's safe for them to come in and tell you this news. I don't know if you have proof of something on this person. Um, I don't know if this one has proof of something in regards to you. But you can surely take it where it resonates. We have they lost their last chance or you did. So someone that lost their chance is watching you. We got expectation in reverse. Expectation in reverse, which means this is coming out of nowhere. You don't expect this. Well, if you figure out who this person is, you go to expect it now. You go no down, tap it in with your girl. Sweet, you hear me? So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is coming. And that's why this lightning is here again. Shocking news. This we got shocking news, right? I'm sorry, y'all. We got shocking news and message of concern. So with that being said, this is definitely coming out of nowhere because look, she clutching her pearls. Expectation in reverse. You wasn't expecting this. Okay. So we got we got three cards. They all came out in reverse. And with the previous card before it being expectation in, in, in reverse. Um, I'm going to take that, okay? I'm going to take these cards this way because it's a sudden change. It's a shock. Things, however things were once before, they're no longer like that. It's a reversal in the situation. So with that, we got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. So we know that this person wants to reverse. We know that this person wants to reverse that, um... That judgment for the relationship to be over. One second, sweet love. Okay. Yeah. And then we got marriage in reverse. So if y'all was together, that's over with. It was ended. And yeah. That relationship is over, a marriage ship is over. This partnership is over, which signifies this ending. And this person, we got crying over you, but in reverse. So this person is done crying over you, okay? Okay? They done crying over you. They want to come in and, yeah, they ain't playing. They ain't playing. They are not playing. They coming in, sweet loves, and you don't expect this. Who is this, sweet love? What y'all got going on? Who about to pop out? Look, change. Change. Change on top of a photo proof. So I don't know if you moved. I don't know if you moved. If they move, or they this just look like they want to change situations. But, oh, no, you could have moved or somebody moved. Somebody could have moved because we had photo proof. So this person is watching and this person may see that you might have changed residency because we got change in travel. Take that where it resonates because for, for some I'm getting that this person could see, could have photo proof that you might have moved, okay? But Another thing I got was that this person wants to change the dynamic of this connection, which is 
congruent with this reversal, okay, that they want to do. They want to they want to reverse this judgment of this marriage or this partnership, this connection being over. So they want to change and possibly start to spend time with you and actually travel with you. So this person, this is someone who wants to travel with you. What else do you have to say? Thank you. So we got judication, but it came out in reverse. So it looks like there may be no justice to... Yeah. That's what they want this 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 judgment to be they want justice they feel like them just them getting justice is getting you back and we got want you back but this in reverse this in reverse sweet love let's see since this person had a sudden and shocking epiphany let's see yeah let's see This person wants justice to this situation. And I did do a reading recently and it talked about someone's appeal being rejected. Their appeal to um, basically um, appealing a, a, a decision. So this is kind of congruent with that. Whoever this person is, is caught up in a web of lies. This is a liar. So this is probably why you won't take them back. Or you don't want to travel with them. This person is caught up in a web of lies. They into you, but this person told so many lies. Thank you, spirit. Awaiting for this union. Awaiting for this union. So this person is... This person waiting. They wait and they want to. Mm -hmm. They wait and they're on a the road to recovery. They're, this person is on a road to recovery after this ending. Okay. After this ending. This person possibly. This person is healing. So we got observing every action, which is confirmation to photo proof getting evidence. So this part, whatever you doing, this person is watching everything you do. Watching everything you do. We got times up, took too long. Now we got times up, took too long on meeting and, and um, messaging concern and meeting. So this person going to come in, right? messaging you letting you know that they want you back but spirit said the time's up this person took too long whoever this person is they took too long to come back possibly or you could be feeling this way yeah this soul bond is sacred okay so this is someone you have some type of soul connection to Mmm, that in the background. I hear that to just act like we never were. Caught up in the emotions. And now, how dare we hurry by shaking hands. So this person, if you seen this person, depending on how, you know, you approach them, they may not like it. If you approach this person like they just a friend and y'all wasn't lovers and had some type of connection at one point, like if you don't greet them by showing them love, they're going to feel some type of way. Just can't get over you. So this person, they can't get over you. If you friend, friend zone this person, this person is saying, I can't get over you. I do not want to be your friend. We got a twin flame, twin flame union approaching. I said this bond is sacred. I said this soul bond is some type of some type of soul connection. This person is emotional. 
Yeah, but their lies, they did them to they did it to themselves. We have all truth will be revealed. So if you look, the web of lies. Thank you, uh Halo. Halo's in the back, guys. They caught up in their web of lies, right? So this person was somebody who was lying to you. You walked away from this person. You ended things with them. During this time that you ended things with them, this person, it might have been a long time between you, y'all two. That's why you don't expect this. You're not expecting this from this person because it's been some time that you and this person have been apart, okay? But it's a sacred connection. It's a, yeah, that's a, it's a twin flame union. We got twin flame union approaching. But if it was some things hidden that you were in the dark about when it came to this person, all truth will most definitely be revealed, okay? All truth will be revealed. This person is going through the dark night of the soul. They're ready to release whatever was holding them back from um, the union between you and them, whatever was holding them back from love. Okay? We have no more bad decisions. This person doesn't want to make... I'm sorry, sweet loves. I hope it was gone. I hope my notification came up. I hope I didn't mess up the video. I guess I have to check it before I upload it. I don't think it did, though. But, yeah, this person, they're going to do the dark night of the soul. They're ready to release whatever ties they had that was keeping them from love or possibly just loving you. We got no more bad decisions. This person don't want to make bad decisions no more. They want to bring some justice to you making a judgment call and walking away from them. What else do you have, spirit? What else do you have, spirit? So this was the social media thought. We got social media got me in trouble. This is someone who they could have possibly been in the spotlight. Okay. Possibly been in the spotlight and had, you know, several options. Several options and yeah, these options caused them to lose you. These options cause them to lose you. I mean, they blame it on social media. I, I mean, I get it because that's where the options were. But, I mean, I guess that would be them taking accountability by saying that social media got them in trouble. But you got you in trouble. You got you in trouble because you could have had self-control. But, you know, this person is on the road to recovery. They're learning that. So, we won't judge them so much. You know, I mean, y'all know this must be loves and already made a judgment call or it shit with them and say, yeah, no, this ain't that. This ain't that and that ain't this. We got true love stories never end. So this is a true love situation between you and this person. We got true love stories never end. True love stories never end on top of adjudication and reverse at that. So although uh, uh, there was an injustice in this situation, it looks like, you know, justice will be served because we have true love stories never end and then rest and recovery before a restart. So, so some of you guys are going to be resting and recovering, especially this person, because we have road to recovery. Well, you could be resting and recovering as well after this ending because this is just... um. The person you're connected to's energy that's out here right now, you know? And we see that they're going through a dark night of the soul, but that doesn't negate the fact that, you know, you could possibly well be in a mix of healing from this situation, this ending as well. Nonetheless, okay? We have road to recovery, dark night of the soul, rest and recovery before restart. So this person is going through a dark night of the soul. They're purging them, their old selves, you know, their, their old self. You know, all that South Node activity, they, they getting that up out of you, okay? 
And this person's going to have to rest and recover before starting or fresh and starting new. But yes, we loves. This was going on in the energy. Spirit got something going down. Spirit got something going down, baby. Let's see. Let's get some more. I wish more. We got soulmates in separation. <laughs> Stop car. I miss you more now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. So this person feels you even though you're not there. They could smell you probably. They could be having visions of you. They could be having dreams of you. Take it where it resonates. Now take it where it resonates because there could be some um, differences when it comes to the two of the two of you, yeah, religious beliefs. There could be some difference. Some differences. What do you have, Spirit? What do you have in reference to this twin flame you me? What were these messages for you? Oh, oh, trust and flirt at the bottom. Okay. Okay. So trust is right on top of court in the web of lies. And awaiting for this union. So this situation is calling for you to have faith. And they have this next situation requires you to have confidence. Okay. We have give yourself a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So we got free yourself was at the bottom. Let's see if it comes out. But with that free yourself, that give me free yourself of like worries. But trust already being out here and give your relationship a chance. Confirmation. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Okay. Free yourself of worrying. Keep an open mind. <laughs> Spirit say, you know, I'm going to clear that right up for you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be, your soulmate may differ from, ooh, ooh. Come on now, come on. But that was the deception card. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this person is not something that you're used to. But honestly, what this gives me, knowing that you and this person have already been in union because we had into you and sudden change and ending and you a partnership the partnership with the reversal and adjudication that signifies that you and this person was together at some point before okay and then i got the soulmates and separation but you're coming back together this person after this person being caught in a web of lies so that means, you know, this person could come back showing you a totally new side of them. For others of you, it may, you know, good enough well be a difference, you know, in religions and ethnicity, you know, whatever it may be. That's possible as well. However, I didn't get the new ordinary love card out. Um, so, you know, take it where it resonates. But this person, this card gives me that this person is coming back totally different from before. <clears throat> Reconciliation. This is someone who wants to reconcile with you. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This person wants you to freak them, baby. <laughs> oh, they try to get freaky on the table. Come on now. I'm already giving my sweet loves. Let them know what you want them to know. And you coming through hot and horny. We ain't doing that. <laughs> Not right now. It's too early. Say, no, this person ain't never too early to get freaky. Okay. 
We got worth waiting for, okay? So whatever this situation is, this person is, is, is worth waiting for or was worth waiting for. Divine time is at work in your love life. This person is worth waiting for. So... I am, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, but you guys were in separation for some time, and Spirit is saying this situation is worth waiting for. Okay, we got release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. So for some of you, so for some of you, this situation could have not have played, ooh, have played out. Yeah, thank you, spirit. So for some of you, this situation may not have played out, right? And you could still be tied to whoever this person is, Okay. You guys haven't went through that period of this person going through the dark night of the soul. You'll know where it fits for you. If you're in that category, okay, spirit is wanting you to release your ex, okay? You got to get rid of this person and make, make them your ex. Another thing is, if this person is fairly new and... Okay, past life relationship... If this person is fairly new in your life, but you separated from them. Right? You could have another energy tied to you. You could have an ex tied to you. That's giving me that, you know, choice between two lovers type of energy. Whether, <coughs> excuse me, whether you're actually interested in both of these people or not. You could have an ex that you're still energetically tied to that's holding on to you in some way. And that you may still, you know, have whatever type of, you know, situation or codependency on whatever it may be for you. But Spirit says, release your ex, love yourself first. The time has come to clear your energy. That's what I said, right? There's someone that's energetically holding on to you. Yep. There's someone that's energetically holding on to you and spirit is wanting you to love yourself first and release this person, okay? Well, because you deserve love. You are lovable, you know? But this twin flame union is a past life uh, connection. Look, yeah, past life connection. Then we got soulmate, okay? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this ending could have been about that. This ending could be because it's an unrequited love situation. It's an unrequited love situation. It's one-sided, you know? It's not equal give and take. Somebody is not making the effort. We got to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you've got it to take. It was an unrequited situation. One person was given more than the other. And if you're still in this situation, confirmation at the bottom again, spirit wants you to free yourself, okay? Free yourself. Free yourself. You got to stick up for yourself. Stick up what you for what you believe in. Stick up for what you deserve. Okay? We got free yourself and then engagement. Followed by this could be the one. Pay attention to the red flags. You get what I'm saying? So, listen. I know everybody want to be with somebody. Everybody, you know, nobody wants to be alone. But at the end of the day... It ain't nothing wrong with being alone if you ain't getting what you deserve. If you're not getting what you deserve, it's, it's, it's no point. It's no point in settling. It's no point in settling. You could do good or bad by your damn self. You know? Don't let nobody steal your value from you. If that connection in some way, shape, or form is not helping you grow... It's not helping you elevate, you know? What's the point? You just in it, what? Because what? Because you love the person, because you knew them for a long time, whatever it may be. But you got to 
You got to have some morals and values. You got to have some boundaries about yourself when it comes to what you're going to deal with and what you're not going to deal with. And we all deal with things that we shouldn't necessarily have to or we didn't have to. But that's what this time frame and this period is about. You know, coming up out of those old ways of being, those old things we used to do. Breaking those chains. Okay? Because, yeah, at some point you got to stand up for yourself, baby. You got to accept things for what they is. You got to see the truth in the situation, you know? And there's nothing wrong with it. You got to grow through it, okay? Grow through the go-through. You going through something, grow through that situation. Learn, sit back and analyze what has it taught you. Because a lot of times it's just merely us learning the same lesson over and over again. So it's like, what has, what has it taught you? Learn. And when you do learn, do it differently next time. Dust yourself off and try again. But don't stay in no situation where it's unrequited love. I don't care who it is. Don't do it. That's not for you. That's not what you need. That's not what you deserve. You know? If it doesn't make you happy, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. Even if you think life going to be crazy without it, it don't matter. You'll be okay. Why? Because it's for a greater purpose. For a higher purpose. Whatever that situation was, it was meant to teach you something. You know? Let it go. If it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. And it'll come back to you differently. It'll come back to you better. And you'll know when the time is right. Because you're going to keep tapping in with your girl, sweet, okay? And I'm going to give you the tea. And you're going to know what you need to know. And you're going to fucking read with sweets, okay? And I'm going to give you the tea real, 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 real good. And yeah, you're going to know. So... That's all I have for you guys, sweet loves. This was a great read. I hope you guys gained some clarity and insight on your situation with this reading. Again, I am available for personal readings, 22% off for the month of February, okay? If you haven't already, go ahead and energetically donate to the channel and click that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that not post notification bell as well as that subscribe button, baby. I truly appreciate you guys for tapping in with your girl sweets. Love and light to you all. Good day.